Situated on the remote coastline of Nicaragua lies a small fishing village called La Barra. The only means of access is by boat. Recently, Miracle Air sponsored a four-day dental clinic along with an evangelistic campaign in this village. The dental clinic was set up in a community building that had been partially damaged by the recent hurricane. The equipment consisted of three portable dental units, a compressor, and a generator. After assembling the dental units and organizing all the medications and supplies, the team started teaching the basics of dental hygiene. Over the four days, a total of 320 patients were seen. The dentists completed 315 extractions, 71 cleanings, and 76 fillings. This was the first time dental cleanings and fillings had been offered in this area. Each patient received a toothbrush and toothpaste, and the children received a small toy. The people in this part of the country cannot afford these items and were very grateful for them. As word spread, villagers from surrounding areas began to arrive, and before long, we had many patients waiting to be seen. The response was so overwhelming because it had been many years since any kind of dental service had been provided. It was amazing to see God intervene when we ran out of face masks, gloves, and anesthesia, but we were able to obtain them from another source. As we were finishing with the last patients on the final day, the compressor failed. We were exhausted, but thrilled to see how God had blessed. In conjunction with the dental clinic, Pastor Misael Munguia, the Adventist pastor for the region, had organized an evangelistic campaign. Two months before, three Bible workers had been sent to La Barra and had been studying with interested individuals. Each evening, meetings were held on the outdoor basketball court in the center of the village. The meetings consisted of singing, a health lecture, children's stories, and a sermon. You are. It doesn't matter how, how much good things you do, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Unless Pastor Guillermo Hooker from Corn Island was the guest speaker and led the campaign. As the meetings drew to a close, 11 people made decisions to be baptized and follow Jesus. As we packed the boat to return to Pearl Lagoon, we were filled with amazement at how God had led and the hundreds of people who had received dental care, and especially for the life-changing decisions to follow Christ that had been made. We are so very grateful to each of the dentists and the village nurse who provided assistance throughout the entire event. Finally, a huge thank you to each of you who so generously donated to make this dental evangelism trip a reality.